Border Keys and Dilip here, back with another advanced OBS tutorial. And Exceldra was gone next level with the motion plugin. You need to check this. I'm not even going to talk about it. You know what the motion plugin is. It has gone next level. Okay, so many cool features. I want to get in and talk about them. So let's just hurry up and get into it. Like the video if I've helped you out. Also press that little subscribe button. Yeah, these are new live animations. They look terrible. Let me know in the comments if you think they look terrible. They look terrible, all right. Let's just go. Put your rock over the stone. Let's go. So just before we deep dive into this, I just want to say thank you to everybody that is supporting me already. If you do want to support the channel and also the community, consider joining us on Patreon or even just press the join button uh, as a YouTube member. It doesn't just help me out, it helps the whole community as I make this content for free for everybody. So let's get this installed. I know that this is same move transition 1.8.1, but it won't when you check because I'm using an early build of this that I've been testing for Exceldro. So just hit download up here and press the Windows installer or whichever one that you use in Mac it's completely up to you what you're using download the installer and you'll be able to run it just from in your downloads folder you'll have the move transition installer just there double click it open it install it you will have to make sure that OBS is closed at the time okay so to check you got that installed correctly just open up OBS right click on any scene or even source and go to filters I'm gonna right click on my scene here and you'll be able to press the plus sign and you'll see move source and and move value that means you've got it all installed correctly so I'm gonna look at the first feature that Excel does add and that is add simultaneous move option so that means you can make multiple movements all at the same time without even having to use something like touch portal stream deck well stream deck and also um, Leoran board or something like that so I'm gonna add some move sources just here I'm gonna do pick one position one uh, and then I'm gonna do pick two position one as well because I've got two pictures up here pick two Position two, just like that, and I'm gonna um, uh, pick two position one. Sorry, bloody hell, I'm not getting it right today. Uh, pick one, so I'm gonna select pick one as the source. Pick two, it would be picture two, and then scrolling all the way down, I'm just gonna get the current transform where they are on the screen. Obviously, if I moved uh, picture one around and press get transform, you will see that all the numbers will actually change wherever they are on the screen. So if I move again, press get transform. It resets just like so. So I'm going to leave that one there. M move all the way down to the bottom. Press start trigger. Enable and disable. So when it's turned on it and it moves to that position, it automatically turns off. And the simultaneous move is the option that we're messing with here. We want picture 2 to move into position 1 as well. So I'm going to select picture 2, position 1. So that means when pick 1, position 1 is activated, picture 2, position 1 will also activate. So let's set up picture 2. So let's scroll all the way down, get the transform of where it currently is, um, which it should do automatically. Uh, start trigger, we're going to do enable and disable again. And simultaneous move, you can chain up multiple here. So if you had a third movement that you wanted to happen all at the same time, you just cha <coughs> chain that into the third motion. So I actually want it to be, if I activate picture 2 position 1, I want picture 1 to move as well. So I choose that in there. Turn them both off and you'll see nothing moves. But now if we move them both manually and press it, oop, just like so. So no matter where they are on the screen, and I could select either one of them. So pitch two this time, they'll both move at the exact same time. Which is pretty powerful. That's just going to save a little bit of headache coding more things into Touch Bottle or the Orin Board. Like I say, you could add a third image in there as well. So if I add a third uh, image... I'll do uh, picture three. Just to show you more examples of this, browse, find a random picture. Um, we'll uh, use this picture that's massive. Just going to make it smaller, move it out of the way. And we'll put it, say, here at the back. And we'll move it down to the back just to make it look better. Better. <laughs> and we're going to create another move source like we did last time. And we'll do pick three, position one. Press enter, and now we're going to select pick three as the source, move all the way down to get transform of where we want it to be. So I want it to be full screen like that. So get transform, and that will set that up just there. Move all the way down, and start trigger will be enable and disable. And we don't want to do a simultaneous move, because we were going to change picture two to move into picture three. 
So picture one is going to activate picture two, picture two is going to activate picture three all at the same time. So now if I move picture three out of the way just down here, maybe I just want to make it really small in the corner like this and I press picture one. They're actually in, already in the, the normal spot. I better just move them around a little bit. Move that to there. Picture one, they'll all move at the exact same time. Pretty nifty. So the next feature that we're going to look at is audio fading and muting. So with any source, we need to uh, select the, the scene, right click it and go to filters. This works with any audio source that's within that scene. Hit the plus sign, press move source, and I'm going to just type in uh, fade audio down or whatever you want to call it. Select the source, so we're going to use the input capture that you can see is my microphone. And I'm going to change the duration just so you can see it happening to, we'll say 2000, so that's two seconds. Go further down because we don't need to worry about any transform, so you could untick that if you want. And it, if you didn't want to use custom duration, you can do that as well. If you keep scrolling down, you'll see audio. So we've got uh, audio mute. So if we want it to mute at the start of the movement, the end movement, uh, unmute at the start. So if it's currently muted, you can unmute it and then get it to, to fade. Or you could use that to just turn on, turn off stuff after doing maybe sound effects and things like that. So there's a lot of things that you can do with that. So that mess about with them settings. Otherwise, this video will go on forever. So the fade, we just turn it on and I'm going to put it down to 0% because um, that will turn it off completely. Um, and start trigger, enable and disable, or however you want to do it. If you want to do it as, say, enable, and then you could do a next move is a reverse, and that happens when we press the hotkey. So when we turn this off, nothing will happen, but we turn it on, that'll fade down to nothing. And then if I turn it off, nothing will happen, turn it back on, it'll fade back up. So now you can control all your audio sources super well. So if you've got a set game or something like that, you could set up some filters that will automatically set up every single stream, have it on a hotkey, and away you So my absolute favorite feature, and if I went into all the details on how much you could do with this, I'd make a half an hour video, which I just want you guys to experiment with it, okay? There's no point me showing you all the ins and outs. Just press stuff, type stuff in, see what happens. These are the media sources. You can see I've got a video just up here uh, on this scene. I'm going to right click on the scene, add a filter, press plus and choose move source. I'm just going to leave it as move source for now. The source that I'm going to use is this media source just here. So I'm going to use that drop down, select media source, custom duration, play around with this one, play around with the ease in, play around with the transform. Yes, you can get the, the video to move around, do things. Honestly, crazy. The ones that I'm going to highlight are the media options just here. So the start action, when this filter starts, what do we want it to do? We want it to play the video, for instance. So I'm just going to turn that off and go down to the start trigger and choose enable. Again, you've got different settings in here like the media started. So when the media of a source starts playing, that's when it's activated. But I'm just going to use enable for this um, uh, showcase. So if I uh, press the, the enable, you'll see it starts playing. Turn it off and on again. Nothing's going to happen because it's already playing, okay? So I know what you're going to say. You're going to be like, oh, yeah, but you can do that. If I turn a media source off, turn it back on, turn it off, turn it back on, it starts playing. Yeah, but can you do this? I'm going to press pause. Go back into the effect filters. Go all the way down to start action. We're going to do play from... And we're going to choose, I don't know, 10 seconds into the video. So now when we turn it on, it'll play from 10 seconds rather than the start of the video. As you can see just there. Press stop again. Turn it on. Plays from 10 seconds. I know, pretty nifty. Not just that though. You can start adding a fade filter as well. So if we had it on zero at the bottom like that, press stop a second. Turn this on. You'll see us fade in as well. Adding multiple of these effects literally just play around with them. You've got end actions to play around with as well There's so many cool things that you can do with and do with it. I'm choking at my own words again uh, Combine that with the simultaneous moves the things that I've taught you already it will literally blow up your stream Okay, it takes a little bit again your head round when I was just doing the testing for it I was just kind of like right I need I want it to do this, but I don't understand what it's doing it takes a little bit of just tinkering, but the only way that you're going to learn it is by deep diving and just trying things, experimenting. And you never know, 
put some shader filters on some stuff, get some stuff looking trippy. Who knows what you're going to come up with, okay? So if I've helped you out and you love it, press that little like button. Also, subscribe. It'll help out the channel. When we get to 10,000, I'm going to be doing a massive stream. Also, a giveaway as well. And I'm going to be doing the massive stream on YouTube, okay, guys? Put your rock over the stone. Remember, if you want to help out, join Patreon or press that join button on this YouTube channel. Much love! I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make me make this content full time, make it free for you guys, and also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.